I'm going to go ahead and remove these. So we want this block to display on every page for a particular role. So what we'll do is keep this all pages except those listed checked and we'll leave this blank because we don't want any exceptions to be made for when this block displays. Okay, let's go ahead and look at some of these other conditions that we can specify. In this second tab here we have content types and it says show block for specific content types. And in the description it says that this block will display only on content of the given types. So for example, if we're on one of our tour pages and we want this block to display on just those pages, then we would click this. That would be more for content that wasn't administrative, but rather content for the front end, for the end user. So we'll go ahead and skip this for now. In this third tab, we have roles, and it says show block for specific roles. Now this sounds a lot like what we'd actually want. Because our guides are going to have the role guide, we can specify that this block will only show for roles of that type. So if we wanted to, we could just click guide here and this block will only show for them. This makes sense because as an administrator we're going to have a different administrative interface. For the guide they're going to have a simplified one that is included simply in a block. So let's go ahead and keep that checked but let's look at this last tab here just for completeness sake and it says customizable per user. This means that individual users can customize whether they see this block or not in their account settings page. And we can use this both to allow the user to customize their experience, but then we can also keep it hidden, which means that an administrator can go into the user account and modify how the blocks display for that specific user. So what we're going to do is leave this at the roles restriction for just the guide. And let's go ahead and save the block.